Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this December 21st. After a chilly weekend, temperatures are warming up. You can already tell this morning. And uh, it's breezy, too. Once you step outside, there's a chilly breeze, but eventually those southerly winds are going to help us warm up over the next few days. But it is going to be unsettled this Christmas week. White Christmas is out for this Christmas 2015. It is going to be rain and wind and maybe even some thunderstorms and possibly even some record-breaking temperatures. It is just going to be a very unusual Christmas as we talked about last week if you were listening to the podcast and everything is coming together for, well, it's just going to be warm, wet, and windy. 51 was the official high temperature in Bowling Green for your Sunday. That happened uh, just before midnight as temperatures actually started to rise. 47 is our average high temperature, so we were 4 degrees above average. 24 was our low temperature yesterday morning. 28 is the average low, so we were 4 degrees below average. No rainfall before midnight, but we're picking up rain right now. And it's going to be with us all day today. 100% chance of rain today, breezy and milder, with the high in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. South winds at 14, gusting to 25, even up to 30 miles per hour. And the winds are already uh, picking up this morning. Tonight, a continued 90% chance of of rain at a low of 53 with a south wind at 9. Uh, winter, by the way, officially begins tonight at 10.49 p.m. Central Time. Not that it's going to make a difference. It will eventually. But uh, basically, if you could take a, you know, just picture the earth in your mind and then look at the North Pole and just imagine it tilted back to the right, where there's more sunlight on the southern hemisphere instead of the northern hemisphere. That's what's happening. Today is going to actually, I would say tomorrow, Tuesday is going to be the shortest day of the year uh, from uh, the amount of daylight that you will have. And then from here on out, the days will start to get longer and the nights will get shorter. Of course, it's going to take a while on into spring before that happens, but... The winter solstice is what it's officially called. It begins for us here in Bowling Green, 10.49 p.m. tonight. But for uh, some locations, it begins tomorrow on Tuesday. But uh, this is the last day of autumn and 60 degrees for a high 53 tonight. Now, Tuesday, we can say, will be the first full day of winter. And we're going to see a mix of clouds and sunshine and warm, a high of 66. Now, some of these numbers are probably going to blow your mind as we go through the next several days. I know a lot of you will be traveling. Uh, the eastern half of the United States is going to be pretty much like us, warm, wet, and windy. It is the northwestern half of the United States that is going to be the only ones to see a white Christmas, maybe. Wednesday... We're going to see the second in a series of disturbances moving in, and this one is much stronger. There's going to be wind, there's going to be rain, an 80% chance of rain, but there's also going to be the chance for thunderstorms, and some of those could be strong, especially if you're going south of our area, southern Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama. Uh, there is a threat already for severe storms. On Wednesday, we'll see a high here, 72 degrees, and that's uh, near record territory. We'll be probably talking about record-breaking temperatures once again all over the southeast, and you're going to hear the hype and the hyperbole. There's going to be all kinds of, uh, oh, my gosh, you know, thousands of records broken, and it's got to be climate change and global warming and blah, 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 blah. This shouldn't happen at Christmas. Oh, no. Frosty is going to melt. Just just blow it off, okay, and move on. It's happened before. Good gosh. Uh, Thursday, which is Christmas Eve, 
Uh, mix of clouds and sunshine, 70 will be the high temperature. And then as we get into Christmas Day, here comes the third in a series of disturbances. This one with a 40% chance of a shower on Christmas Day with a high of 66. Saturday, a 50% chance of showers with a high of 74. <laughs> a warm front's going to move through the air and warm us up even more. 74 for Saturday. And then Sunday, a continued 50% chance of showers and 65. I mean, it's just 60, 70, 60, 70, 60. Uh, that's pretty much your seven-day forecast. Then rain, break, rain, break, rain, break. It's kind of like that all week long. When do we see a cool down? Well, we see a cool down into the 50s. For the final week of 2015 as we head into New Year's. And then it does look like after January 1st, uh, all the long-range uh, models are indicating that is when we're going to finally see or feel more winter-like temperatures and a more winter-like pattern. Now, that, that doesn't necessarily mean snow or ice or anything else, but we've got to get the temperatures way, way down. We're running... 20 to 30 degrees above average with these numbers that I just told you. So there is no way it's going to snow with that. We've got to get the temperatures down and down for several days uh, before we can even consider uh, calling for any kind of frozen precipitation. Even though some of you, what was it, Friday, saw some little grapple, little pellets, little ice pellets and so snow flurries, that was a teaser. That was just a teaser. Uh, but that's all you get for Christmas. I'm sorry. I know it's like getting a lump of coal, isn't it? For some of you, and then others, I'm, I'm hearing other people going, thank you, this is great. I love this weather for <laughs> 60s and 70s and rain. I'll take it. Uh, so it, it just depends on who you talk to. And I know it's traditionally, you know, should be cold and snow or at least chilly. But uh, this is, it is what it is, as my grandpa used to say. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. God bless you as always. And uh, safe journeys if you're heading out today for the Christmas holiday. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And then later today, join me for my radio show, Classic Hits, Sam 100.7 from 3 until 7 p.m.